<sighs> Give me back my purse. I don't know you. What is up, everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical, back with another video for you here today. And today, we're gonna go over real quick my EDC, and it might actually surprise you as far as what I carry. For myself, I kinda have two different setups as far as an EDC setup. One is if I'm wearing jeans with a belt or khakis with a belt, whatever, anything with a belt. And the other option is actually what I use like 75% of the time when I'm not wearing a belt, because I'm normally in like sweatpants, uh, athletic shorts, gym clothes. So I have a different option for that then. So that being said, let's go over the belt option first. And speaking of belt, what I do when I'm wearing jeans or khakis, I always use my Core Essentials EDC belt. This is by far the best EDC belt on the market. Super sturdy, easy to put a holster um, on this belt. And you gotta love the little ratchet system they have here. A little ASMR for you. If you don't have one, definitely worth checking out. With my Core Essentials belt, as far as my firearm that I carry, I have my P365XL um, handgun. On this, I do have a TLR7 sub with a Hollow Sun 507K Vulcan, which I think is an awesome setup. Best flashlight, best red dot for a concealed carry gun. For my mag in the gun that I carry, it's a Mag Guts conversion kit on a 12 round Sig Mag, which makes it now hold 14 rounds. So I'll have 14 in the gun with one in the chamber there then. And then on my holster here, I have another mag. And this is actually the Sig Macro magazine that holds 17 rounds. So with this option here, uh, if I needed it, I have another mag here. You can see there's a little extension on it here, but now this has 17 additional uh, rounds that I can carry. So pretty nice as far as round count and as far as being, you know, not too bulky. As far as the holster, this is the tier one holster, uh, again, to accommodate the P365XL with the TLR7. And then it has the little side guide here um, for a magazine. And this is by far the most comfortable holster I've ever experienced in my life, especially with a subcompact gun like this in this small holster, super comfortable to carry. So that's my belt option there. As far as, like I said, 75% of the time, the other thing I'm doing is I got my man purse here. I'm not saying this is the best practice to have, but this is just what I do because I really don't care what people think and I'm all about functionality. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I just have too much crap to carry around. So my man and purse works just fine. Inside this bag here, front zipper, I have my chapstick that I use here. Who doesn't need chapstick? The next compartment here, I have here a lock for the gym. Cause like I said, normally I have this when I go to the gym. So I just keep a lock in there. I have my car keys, um, house key already on there. And then also again, for gym purposes too, I have my headphones. These are the Samsung Galaxy Buds uh, headphones. And these are nice to have. Cause if I go to the range, I sometimes use these as hearing protection as well. Then in the main compartment here, I do have my wallet wallet, which has no money in it because I'm too poor. And then as far as firearm that I carry in my bag here, I have the uh, Smith & Wesson MMP Shield 9 Plus. And as you can see, this guy is bare bones. The only thing that I have is the extended mag for 13 rounds uh, for carrying. I do not carry an extra magazine in this bag here. I just have this. So typically I'll get 13 plus one, so 14 rounds. And I didn't put a flashlight or red dot, anything like that on it, because I just wanted this to be compact in the bag. However, my one thing that I do that is probably pretty bad is I do keep around in the chamber, but I got this model with the thumb safety here on it. So with it in the chamber, I've done a lot of testing I've actually carried this for like over a year with a round in the chamber, making sure that there is no issues with it and did a lot of testing at the range. So I'm fully comfortable having a round in the chamber with this safety on. And this is super sturdy as far as a safety and it's hard to have it flicked in the bag. Unlike a P365, if you have a safety on that, it's like a lever on the outside and it's more external, which could get caught on the bag and flip off safe. But this one's more flush on the gun, which is why I like it. And that's why I use it for this bag carry. As far as the actual bag here, this is nothing special. I picked this up from like a flea market. It's called the volunteer bag. I don't even know if these are real. It's probably just some knockoff. But again, I'm all about the functionality. If there's better options, great. But for me right now, this works just fine for my everyday carry without a belt. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Just kind of a fun little overview on some EDC here. I'll do some updates on this as this evolves or if I swap some things out or get some different products that I'm trying for EDC. But I'd love to hear from you all in the comments what's your everyday carry gun or what's some other things that I'm missing maybe. I know one could probably be a flashlight in my little man purse bag here. Uh, but let me know in the comments. What are you guys using or what do you recommend me swapping out here? Either way, if this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. And until next time, have fun shooting and we'll see you soon. Thanks everybody. Everybody.